English is nowadays the second language spoken and taught in many countries all around the world. However, if we pay close attention to the speech of the persons for whom English is the second language, we can often recognize the patterns in their English pronunciation that are typical for their first language. So how does your mother tongue affect your English pronunciation and what you can do about it? That's what is this video supposed to be about. Therefore, stay tuned until the end of this video so you can figure out how you can speak as a native in English. Welcome to the Polyglot's Journey channel. My name is Juro and I'm a language enthusiast who currently speaks four languages and is trying to acquire three more in a way that's both natural and fun. And that's all this channel is about. Sharing my experience with the world and trying to make people understand how the process of getting better in a foreign language can be both easy and pleasant. Thus, if you appreciate what I do and like my videos, please consider providing me support by subscribing to the channel. The importance of pronunciation in communication cannot be denied. In fact, it is as important as vocabulary and grammar. Yet, the evidence of mother tongue influence on English as a second language is very obvious. This manifests in the form of incorrect pronunciation. Pronunciation errors may be due to many issues. Presumption or ambiguity of the correct form of a word or a sentence or a general incompetence in the language could be reason of the mispronunciation. Nevertheless, the most common reason is the transfer or interference of the mother tongue. Generally, errors made in pronunciation are due to difference in the sound system and spelling between your mother tongue and English. But to be even more specific, there are some factors linked with your native language that affect your pronunciation and those are innate phonetic ability, language experience, your age, your identity and language ego, as well as motivation and concern for good pronunciation ability. And we will go now in details with those. When it comes to innate phonetic ability, the common view is that some language learners are able to make a difference between sounds more accurately and imitate the sounds better than others. In many cases, if learners are born and lived in English-speaking environment, the chance to be exposed and acquire native-like pronunciation is better than for those who are not. However, not all learners being born in native-speaking English environment are able to achieve native pronunciation all the time due to the fact that learners are born with various phonetic ability, biology and physiology. Therefore, the success to sound like a native will be predominantly determined by the amount of your daily acquaintance with English. Thus, if you want to sound like native, there is no doubt that listening to native English speakers would help you. When it comes to language experience, it should be noted that all languages in the world comprise a wide range of phonological elements. These variations would cause some difficulties for some of the learners to pronounce English well, especially if the sound system of your native language is different from the sound system of English. The more differences of sounds characteristics of the native language and English, the more difficulties the learner will have in pronouncing English. That is why it's so difficult for some second language learners to have uh, this perfect pronunciation in English that are coming from the countries such as China or other countries that have totally different sound systems. Therefore, it's very important to check pronunciation if you're not sure about it. So the thing that I do is pronunciation on Google Translate. I usually check words on Google Translate and listen to the pronunciation that's provided there. Besides, you can use dictionaries with phonetic spellings of the words for the same purpose. 
When it comes to the age, it is assumed that if the second language is introduced to learner before puberty, it is easier to acquire the native-like pronunciation in English. However, adults may be able to achieve native pronunciation as well as children. Therefore, don't worry, it's never too late to pick up the right pronunciation patterns in English even though you're an adult. The thing you need to do in that regard is to immerse yourself in English and enjoy. Thus, try finding a native partner via some of the language exchange applications in order to listen to the language all the time or follow the YouTube channel in English or listen to the podcast, etc. The next factor that I can see as one that has a huge influence on pronunciation in English is the identity and so-called language ego. Speakers use language to display their identities and membership of particular social cultural settings and it is of paramount importance for them to master their target language when they have positive behaviors over people using that target language whom they are communicating with. More importantly, language ego also plays a central role in helping learners to develop their native-like pronunciation in the target language as they become self-conscious and confident in using it. A great deal of research on the link between identity and language ego and pronunciation also indicates that learners with positive attitudes and being open-minded towards English and the people speaking English are likely to learn and improve their pronunciation faster and more successfully. Therefore, speaking English consumes picking up some of the culture as well and becoming a part of the group or tribe. I sincerely believe that we all have this type of perfect pronunciation in ourselves. The only question is whether we are willing to let it out. Accordingly, people usually find it very weird to sound as American or British because this is not part of their own language identity. When it comes to motivation and concern for good pronunciation, it has an influence on pronunciation as well. Research says that some of the learners will achieve native-like pronunciation if their core motivation is high. On the other hand, if they do not pay much attention on their pronunciation, they might not be motivated to do well. Respectively, some studies place motivation as an essential factor in acquiring good pronunciation, even though I personally think that it is not so important and that pronunciation can be acquired unconsciously. And finally, I introduce the bonus factor that will definitely help you boost your pronunciation in English and that is the exposure to the language. Thus, social environment is very important since learners nowadays via internet have a great opportunity and chance to expose themselves to the target language. It is well known that second language learners acquire a language through numerous comprehensible input even before they start speaking. Exposure to English is definitely a critical factor that will determine learners' success regarding correct pronunciation. Therefore, surrounding yourself with English language and culture, you will be able to reduce the influence of your mother tongue on your English pronunciation. This means use a lot of English content that you enjoy and understand in the highest possible degree. It doesn't matter whether these are cartoons, movies, YouTube videos, live streams or voice rooms on HelloTalk or some podcasts. Any of these means will work well for you and help you improve your English pronunciation. Hence, let me know if this video was helpful for you and if you have any troubles with pronunciation in English. And guys, every like and comment of this video help this channel grow. So if you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and see you in some of the next videos. Bye.